All right, well, last month, President Trump approved a major tax overhaul in the U.S. The changes include a much lower corporate tax rate that would make corporate taxes in Canada and the U.S. almost identical. Analysts say the effects here could be good or bad. It should boost the U.S. economy, which could help Canadian exports, but it may also see a lot of investment dollars going south. Joining us this morning is Aaron Woodrick of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Aaron, thank you for taking the time this morning. Thanks for having me, Adam. So, Aaron, overall, what do you think the effect on Canada will be? You know, it's hard to say, but I think the important point is that our policymakers, both at the federal and provincial level, need to start thinking about how they're going to respond. Uh, it's not an understatement to say this tax, tax package in the, in the United States is a very large package. 80% uh, of Americans are going to see an income tax cut, and it's the single largest business tax cut in American history, um, dramatically cutting their business taxes. So that was a competitive advantage that Canadians had for a long time. That advantage is gone now, and I think uh, our policymakers need to be thinking about what they're going to do to ensure that Canada can continue to attract investment. Well, with a focus here on Saskatchewan, some of the province's most important in industries are oil, gas, and mining. So, what effect will the tax changes have on those industries here? Yeah, you know, with natural resources in particular, we already face some regulatory challenges. And so if the question now becomes whether or not, uh, you know, Americans are going to invest in operations just across the border, or if they are going to invest in Saskatchewan, I think it's now been tilted to just across the border in North Dakota. And so I think, that, again, that is something that governments need to pay attention to. It could mean jobs uh, and investment uh, going there, which would otherwise have been coming here. And it, could we say the same about agriculture? What are we seeing uh, in agriculture? Yes, yeah, certainly. And just in terms of competitiveness generally, uh, you know, the United States, uh, they receive a lot of subsidies on the one hand, but uh, lower taxes make it easier for them to make money and certainly makes it more attractive. If you are an investor, you can put money into a Canadian operation or an American one, uh, or more importantly, you're an American operation and you have operations in both countries. Uh, Donald Trump obviously puts a lot of political pressure on American companies to invest at home. Uh, now you add in this tax package and that, that pressure could become irresistible. So, of course, a carbon tax uh, is also in the cars now, the federal carbon tax. How does this play into all of it? Well, look, uh, we're not fans of the carbon tax, especially when you look at the context here. Uh, the Americans are going the other way. They do not have a carbon tax. It's going to make it a lot more difficult for a lot of Canadian industries, especially in, in industries like agriculture, to be competitive with their American peers. So, uh, again, it comes back to my main point, which is our governments need to think very hard in 2018 about how they're going to respond, uh, because pretending that nothing has happened south of the border, like the game hasn't changed, is simply not realistic. How do you anticipate the Canadian government does respond to these uh, tax changes? You know, it's hard to say. Uh, this government has, has uh, been a fan of raising taxes generally. They have cut a few taxes, uh, but they've also demonstrated that uh, when, there is, when the game changes that they are willing to change direction. And so I certainly hope they recognize that in this case. Uh, it's a new reality south of the border, uh, and we need to make sure that Canada remains competitive, or otherwise we put Canadian livelihoods and Canadian jobs at risk. All right, some very, uh, very good insight here from, uh, from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Aaron Woodrick of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, thank you so much for taking the time this morning, Aaron. Thanks for having me.